it was a really good evening. I remember somehow I ended up in Caesar's Palace. Uh, I remember I woke up and I was in the middle of a ballroom. Uh, I felt I must have fallen asleep in like some wing of the hotel. Oh, Michael, you have a good time in Vegas? Yes. He has three kids and she has three beds. Michael, you have a good time last night? Yeah, dude, it was ridiculous. We're going to Orange County right now. Hell yeah. We're going to Orange County, California. The OC. Don't yeah. call it that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call it that? Is that what you said? Don't call it that. <laughs> I'll go. Hey, Joe, hey, Joe, what time is it? Where's Marissa? <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> it's, uh, it's... <laughs> My clock at my watch It's 11.30 in the morning, morning and I just don't give a shit about anything. I got another one in my back, like I'm drinking on the Ve road. Viva so. Las Vegas! Wow, Viva wow, wow. Las Vegas! Wow, wow, wow. We ended up not in the hospital, not in jail. I call it a win again. Well, after a night of uh, extensive Vegas partying, we uh, head out to uh, Orange County. First time that I saw her, I was throwing up in the ladies' room stall. She asked me if I needed anything. I said, I think I spilled my drink. That's how it started, so I'd like to leave. She took me to her mother's house outside of town with the stars hanging down. Says she never seen someone so lost I said I never felt so found And then I kissed her on the cheek And so she kissed me on the mouth Whoa, whoa, whoa <sighs> Met up with my aunt and uncle You know, their hospitality was just, you know totally beyond and above what we were used to. And it was in this incredibly gorgeous house that, that, that their family had owned for 50 years or something. Um, we sat and chilled with my family all night instead of going to Los Angeles like we originally planned. I'm Dion. I'm Joe's uncle, Dini. And I'm just thrilled to be hosting the infamous boat lights here. <laughs> infamous. Infamous. In California. Hopefully. Um, Make sure you get a One of their many cool nationwide. <laughs> Let me get them both in the shot. How about that? And you are, sir? I'm David. Well, hello, David. Tommy wanted me to get you close up on your hair because it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my little cousin and I went out in the backyard and traded songs we had written back and forth for about an hour and a half. She didn't go out with me. And have a, a very pleasant evening. The next morning, uh, we go through L.A. Uh, we go to Charles Bukowski's house, which was cool for me and Michael and Joe. Brian's not really into that. I'm totally not into that. But... And we hung out there, and we uh, we did that thing. And uh, then it was like, okay, time to go, because we had a schedule to keep. So we're heading out that way, and we're about 45 minutes outside of Los Angeles and all that stuff, and the car breaks down. 
Hey guys, we're outside of LA and the car just broke down. Let's go see what's going on. There's Brian and Joe and Michael hard at work doing their manly stuff. My car jumps to 7,000 RPMs and I just know exactly what's happened. We dropped our tranny. We end up in this little town called Lebec, California. Brian's really good on the GPS. He finds the mechanic right away and I think we had to drive for like 17 miles like that in the slow lane. We get there and they tell us, you know, you can call your dealer and see if you are insured to get a new transmission or you can pay for a new transmission and keep going and it'll be ready by the morning. And we'll just get that shitty hotel over there and we'll just get drunk and climb that mountain or something. Huh? <laughs> and I knew it was impossible to, to go what we were doing without any car trouble at all. We take all of the amps to the hotel room, drop them off, and then we go to the auto shop and get the bill, and it's going to be 2700 bucks. So I call my mom and begin to beg. So uh, thankfully and graciously, Joe's mother uh, ended up paying for the transmission, and it was, I can't thank her enough for what she did for us and for what they did for us on the tour. We stayed with their family like two times and they helped us so much and for this to happen it was like oh it was like a godsend for for them to be able to help us out brian what's going on <laughs> i just got a call from michael and joe just now apparently on the way to drop off the car to get the transmission fixed dude we're playing a show and uh michael and joe go over to the mechanic shop to get the car and me and Tommy check in the hotel and we're just relaxing and I'm just laying there and Michael calls me he's just giggling like what's going on dude he's like hey man I got us another show I'm like where at dude where and he's just oh yeah the local bar next door that the mechanic recommended and just they're gonna give us you know free drinks and you know try to get us a little cash and they're calling all the town out and I'm like we're gonna play a show and I'm like well that's awesome hey Joe <laughs> Joe Tonight, don't go, hello, bump fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and so then, you know, at about 9 o'clock, we go up there. And we steal a luggage cart from the hotel and put, up all, our, pull, put all of our amps on it. So, uh, right now, we, uh, we're bro our car broke down here. The bar across the street so we could play there for free. Or we could play there and they would give us beer and everything. So now we're lugging all of our equipment on this hotel wrap all the way to a random bar across the street which across the intersection we're in the middle of the mountains right now <laughs> 